reading for July 4th entitled, Our Sanctuary Doctrine. Unto 2,300 days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. Daniel chapter 8, verse 14. God bids us give our time and strength to the work of preaching to the people the messages that stirred men and women in 1843 and 1844. My brethren, take your position where God bids you. Leave alone those who, after light has been repeatedly given them, have taken a stand on the opposite side. Take up the work which has been given us. With the word of God as your message, stand on the platform of truth and proclaim the soon coming of Christ. Truth, eternal truth, will prevail. For more than half a century, in other words, since 1844, the different points of present truth have been questioned and opposed. New theories have been advanced as truth which were not truth, and the Spirit of God revealed their error. As the great pillars of our faith have been presented, the Holy Spirit has borne witness to them, and especially is this so regarding the truths of the sanctuary question. Over and over again, the Holy Spirit has in a marked manner endorsed the preaching of this doctrine. But today, as in the past, some will be led to form new theories and to deny the truths upon which the Spirit of God has placed His approval. Any man who seeks to present theories which would lead us from the light that has come to us on the ministration in the heavenly sanctuary should not be accepted as a teacher. A true understanding of the sanctuary question means much to us as a people. When we were earnestly seeking the Lord for light on that question, light came. In vision I was given such a view of the heavenly sanctuary and the ministration connected with the holy place that for many days I could not speak of it. I know from the light that God has given me that there should be a revival of the messages that have been given in the past because men will seek to bring in new theories and will try to prove that these theories are scriptural, whereas they are error, which, if allowed a place, will undermine faith in the truth. We are not to accept these suppositions and pass them along as truth. No, no, we must not move from the platform of truth on which we have been established. There will always be those who are seeking for something new and who stretch and strain the Word of God to make it support their ideas and theories. Let us, brethren, take the things that God has given us and which His Spirit has taught us as truth, and believe them, leaving alone those theories which His Spirit has not endorsed. Taken from Manuscript 125, dated July 4, 1907, entitled, Lessons from the Visions of Ezekiel.